I'm going to tell you guys everything that is leaving Destiny 2 once the Witch Queen is released, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to tell you guys in detail everything that will be leaving D2 with the release of Witch Queen. And if you guys want to see more D2 content in the form of guides, class builds, weapon and armor recommendations for PvE and PvP, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any videos. Witch Queen is literally four days away. If you want to know how to prepare for Witch Queen in under three minutes, I'll put a card to a video on the top right of the screen right now, giving you guys those details, and it will also be at the end of this video. Now that I am back playing Destiny 2, I have been asked several times by many people what is actually leaving the game. So there seems to like be a little bit of confusion when Witch Queen actually releases. If I forget to mention anything, please let everybody know down in the comment section below. So let's go over everything now. First off, let's start with locations. The Tangle Shore and the Elixni and Awoken Wings on the helm will be completely leaving the game. This includes all the missions, quests, currency, and bounties. Do not, I repeat, do not hold on to any of them. Either complete them, get rid of them, or exchange them. The Forsaken Campaign, Ripcade, and the four seasons associated with Beyond Light, which are Season of the Hunt, Chosen, Splicer, and Season of the Lost, are all leaving the game as well. But there is a lot more that this actually entails. For example, Quest for Exotic Weapons. What people don't realize is that there are more exotic quests that are going away than just the one for the Hawkmoon in the Dead Man's Tale. We also have the Aegis Scepter that you access on the helm in Marasov's Chambers, and Wish Ender which requires access to the Tangled Shore. Luckily, the Chaperone quest, and everybody loves the Chaperone, is being moved to Shan Ha in the Cosmodrome. With Dead Man's Tale and Hawkmoon quest leaving, also goes their catalyst since you get them from the same respective missions. Next, let's go over exotic ghosts, sparrows, and ships that are also leaving, starting with the Eternal Recurrence Sparrow. Gone. The Forbidden Memory, the Fourth Mark, High Gravitas, and the Reefborn Warships. Gone. And lastly, the Shell of Gilgamesh and Zeronio Ghost Shells. Gone. Will it be coming back in some form in the future down the line? We don't actually know. They may actually come back as an Eververse offer and you'll have to pay silver for them. That sounds like the Bungie thing to do. As for all of the activities that will be leaving Destiny 2, we are going to go ahead and start with the Baron and Wrathborn Hunts. Specifically, two different Fallen Ones, two different Hive Ones, and the leader of the Wrathborn, the Huge Celebrant. All Tangle Shore public events and Lost Sectors will be leaving. Override Tangle Shore, Europa, Moon, and Last City as well. Both the Harbinger and Presage exotic missions, Expunge, which includes the Labyrinth, Styx, and Tartarus, as well as their corrupted version, will be leaving too. Astral Alignment is leaving, as well as the Shattered Realms Forest of Echoes, Debris of Dreams, and the Ruins of Wrath. Next, let's go over a few miscellaneous things that will also be leaving the game. All of the Tangle Shore vendors, this includes Spider and his bounties, Petrovenge, and she was there in the beginning before actually going to the Dreaming City, and the Crow, aka Aldrin Sov. All the Elixni and Awoken vendors on the helm, and given Marasov's involvement with Sabathun, she may be going back to the Dreaming City. The Broodhold and the Hollowed Lair strikes will be leaving, and I'm pretty sure the Warding of Nothing strike will be going with them. The Ritual and Pinnacle Weapons quest and ornaments are moving to the Monument to Lost Lights, which is on the tower. The Arc, Solar, and Void Analyzer Ghost mods are being removed as well, as well as the Omni Telemetry and Banshee Special. And finally, there are a lot of currencies that are leaving the game as well. So you can either spend these, trade them, or finish them if they actually lead to a quest. And bear with me because there is a long list. Starting with the Bella Conquest, Cabal Gold, Cabal Runes, Challenger Medallions, Corrupted Data, Corrupted Key Code, Cryptolith Lore, Decrypted Data, Dreaming Token of Erivix, Curum, and Zavoth, Ether, Etheric Spiral, Ghost Fragments, Gunsmith Materials, Hammer Approving, Imperial Access Code, Interceptor Distress Signal, Key Code, Lore Mutation Finder, Lore Mods, specifically Prey Mods and Trophy Mods, Mod Components, 
Parallax Trajectory, Pure Matter Glass Lens, Recon Data, Splicer Gauntlet, Strand of Nobility, the Unclaimed Light Bearer, and finally, Weapon Telemetries. And if you are like me and you are hoarding bounties in order to power level your artifact in Witch Queen, make sure that you don't have any bounties from any of the locations that are mentioned in this video because they will be removed as well when Witch Queen launches. So go ahead and hoard other bounties. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.